This video is entirely dedicated to those who want to come to Morningside and study at CUHK. This is College Tour. First things first, there are two main buildings in Morningside College, the G block and the T block. They call this one the Tower Block and this one the Greenberg Building. I don't know what's the difference between a block and a building, I have to find out. But the tower block, you can also call the tall block. So it's T, the tall one. It has... It has 11 floors. I'm not at the bridge that connects the two buildings together. Even though this is really tall, it's thin. And G block only has four floors, but it is really long. You wanna see how long it is? long enough to ride a skateboard inside. No, I'm at the other end. And there will be a pantry on every single floor. So, take me around the pantry. G2 has the biggest pantry. So G2 rules. You have the oven there. Two big ass fridges. This is for boiling water. Holy crap, dude. This is a microwave. Why you drink from here. <laughs> Show them how you drink. <laughs> <laughs> you wash your hands from here. And you cook here. If you leave your stuff outside, the workers will be frozen in the... I don't know what's it called. Like the lost thing box. box. Yeah. So don't keep them there. I always do. This is my stuff. <laughs> I'm in one of the hostel rooms. Let me show you around the room. Uh, normally, two people in a room, so you get two beds. Uh, this is bed number one and bed number two. Excuse me for the mess, I just woke up. And you get two cupboards, one cupboard and the second one. That's the inside of the cupboard. And two study tables. One and two. And also you're going to get a small mini fridge when you come next year. We didn't have any fridges in any of the room last year. They're gonna put mini fridge in every single room next year. So you guys are pretty lucky. So this is the second floor. And the bridge where I was at at the beginning of the video and above the second floor is only the dorm rooms, the showers, the pantries. Only a place where students live. But where the most actions happen is on the first floor, the upper ground floor, or the ground floor. So let's go there. Now we are on the first floor. The first floor also connects the two buildings, that is G and T. But it is indoors where you can find sofas and tables. A place to gather with friends to have a takeout meal together, have a small meeting, study, or just chill with a nice view. These dumbbells are outside right now for students to borrow and use it in their rooms because the fitness room is currently closed due to the virus thing. Now on the left hand side is the computer room where you will usually study rather than use the computers there. And on the right is the fitness room that is closed right now so I'll just add some photos here. The first thing you'll see when entering the computer room is a big printer. Of course you will have to pay for it with an octopus card. Everything has to be paid here. That includes aircon, washing machines, etc. This room is usually a quiet place to study and get things done. When you don't feel like heading all the way to the library for a study session, this is the place for you. Now let's visit the upper ground floor. Upper ground floor sounded weird to me because I've never heard of it before back in Myanmar. Anyways, the upper ground floor accommodates three music rooms and a TV room. The music rooms have to be booked, 
so I will just add the photos here. Room 3 is the largest and we call it the band room, while the other two rooms are just merely a piano room with an upright piano in each of them. Moving on, we have a modernized looking indoor balcony where we can see the ground floor that I will show you in a few seconds. Now let's check out the TV room. This is the place where most of the small to medium gatherings take place when it comes to talk events, college workshops, discussions, movie nights, or game nights. We have several bookshelves, TV facilities, comfy sofas, etc. The stairs just outside of the TV room leads us to the ground floor where there is a small common space and a cafe. The place will be crowded and somewhat noisy during the day before all these social distancing and stuff. Just outside of this place is a long, spacious patio. This is the place where we will have gatherings that involve everyone from the college, such as barbecue evenings, music festivals, and so on. On the ground floor of the G block is also three seminar rooms where you will be attending the compulsory college general education classes or other workshops. And this staircase here leads us to the lower ground floor where you will find the college canteen that is also closed at the moment. So I'll just add the picture here. And this concludes the end of the college tour. If you are a prospective student, I hope you'll be coming to this place very soon. We are a diverse yet inclusive community here. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and consider subscribing if you haven't. Until then, see you in the next video. Bye bye. If you are wondering what it looks like from the outside, this is what it looks like from the outside. Morningside College, the tower block and the G block. Time for a run. No, I'm not gonna run with the mask.